Well, the economy has certainly taken a toll on the generosity and the spirit of giving this holiday season. Right now, the area's Salvation Army is behind in its kettlebell ringing program. Jonathan Costin tells us if you have plans to give to your neighborhood bell ringer, you have just tonight and tomorrow to make it happen. The Salvation Army sidewalk kettlebell ringers in the holiday season seem to go hand in hand. As this year sweeps by, the bell ringers will retire for the 2011 season from your neighborhood sidewalks Saturday night. Felisa Jackson, the season and the bells are used to stress to her two sons the importance of giving. Because at this time of year, we've got so much that we can go grocery shopping and take care of everything that we need. It's important that we give back to other people, and I want them to know that. And with just a little more over a week before the new year rolls in, the local Salvation Army is about 25% short in overall giving to help local families without an eruption. The Salvation Army never wants to be in the position where we have to turn someone away because the, we don't have the funds. Uh, we do have the other programs in place, tra uh, transitional housing for women and their children. Uh, that requires a great deal of money uh, for us to be able to uh, take a young family and put them in a dwelling. Salvation Army Communications Manager Ken Forsyth says his traditional holiday charity does much more than give help to parents down on their luck to purchase toys for their children during the Christmas season. And right now the kettlebell program is about $400,000 behind its targeted goal. We have those programs that help with heating. There are a number of other programs, some of them are in the summer, that send kids to camp. So it's a broad reach where some of these kettle dollars actually go. For whom the Salvation Army Bells toll will end Saturday night. But you can still donate online or with a check. Jonathan Costin, 